Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use meta analysis using three important tools Chat GPT, Sci Space, and the JAP software. In my previous video, I have discussed how to do the meta analysis using free software and free Excel files. I hope you watched that video and you liked it. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use JAPS, the free statistical software, SciSpace, the free AI research assistant, and of course, Chat GPT to identify your research problem. So at the initial stage, we will take a topic and then we will use Chat GPT for identifying our research problem. Once we identify the research problem, then we are going to use JAP software of our data analysis purpose, especially for the metadata analysis purpose. And finally, we are going to talk about how to interpret your data using SciSpace software. Now we are going to use a title of a research, for example, effectiveness of BCG vaccine in developing countries okay then i am asking chat gpt can you find a research problem research problem in this topic topic for meta analysis okay for meta analysis so let's see what it says okay so i use the meta analysis research title the effectiveness of bcg vaccine and i want chat gpt to find out the research problem of our topic and as you can see here that chat gpt finding out that a meta analysis could be conducted to synthesize the existing evidence from multiple studies and provide a more comprehensive evaluation of the bcg vaccines effectiveness in developing countries and the question that is going to be asked answer is what is the overall effectiveness of the bcg vaccine in preventing tb tuberculosis in developing countries are these factors for example age gender socioeconomic status that affect the vaccines efficiency in these settings and Gradually, you can see that are there any differences in the effectiveness of different strains of BCG vaccines used in developing countries. So, this is our research title, the effectiveness of B BCG vaccine in developing countries. And I want ChatGPT to find the research problem for my topic. So, this is the identification of research problem using ChatGPT. Now we understand how to identify our research problem using chat GPT. Now this is the time where you can collect your literature review metadata and put it in the excel file and use the JAP software for your analysis. Next we are going to use the JAP software and you have to download the JAP software. JAPS is a free statistical software and if you don't have the meta analysis in your jap software once you download the jap software you can go and check the plus sign and you will see the meta analysis tick box is already selected which means my japs is working on the meta analysis you can use other options to use your different type of data analysis it's a completely free software for any type of statistical analysis okay so once you select the meta analysis and once you download and install the japs in your computer you go and see what type of data we are going to talk about which is a sample here you can collect your own data by using your own topic for demonstration purpose i'm using the example which is already given by japs so you go to the database and you will see that there are some databases for example computer file computer and databases okay so if i click the databases if i go to open and if i go to the databases i mean the data library and you will see that there are a lot of sample data is already given 
for our analysis we can select the meta analysis one for example here you will see there are a lot of analysis here is the meta analysis data click the meta analysis data and you will see that the bcg vaccine data is already given in the japs for your analysis purpose you can collect the same data for your different type of studies in my previous video i have selected you how to collect the data using the different literature review you can have a look my previous meta analysis video now in this video i am going to click this one and you will see that this jab software is already given you the data for our meta analysis data and as you as you can see here that the data are already given he, here different type of author year typos and all those standard error of the sample of your data set that is using in the different literature review and the effect size which means the total number of sample size is already given you in this particular case we are using the classical data and as you can see here that our effect size we select the effect size and then effect size standard error we already have selected and we are going to take the fixed effect as you know in my previous video meta analysis using the simple analysis using the soft without the jab software here i detail discussed about the use of fixed effect and random effect in this video i am not going to go in detail you can refer to my previous video all i have to do use the fixed effect or random effect you can select anyone but for my case i am using the fixed effect fixed effect and random effect the difference between these two is if you are using fixed effect which means the literature review that you have collected are already using the same or close to the same sample size of data however in the case of random effect you will use a different type of sample using the same title but different type of samples in a different different studies that you have collected for your literature review so in this case you can see there are many other options like maximum likelihood method empirical bias and there are many other so you can use either fixed effect or restricted ml you can use either of them for our simplicity purposes i am using the fixed effect and you can see here that by selecting the data set we already have some table that is already analyzed we already have the forest plot if you want to do a forest plot you go to the model and you will see the statistical data and you can see the forest plot is already selected in my previous video i already discussed in detail how to use forest plot and what is the difference between forest plot and final plot i am going to request you to see my previous video to understand the difference in more detail now we analyze this data using the jab software okay i have another soft an, another video called how to use the uh, primary data in jab software you can also refer to my previous video as well for primary data analysis using jabs and that video will help you how to insert the data into jab software now the next one i'm going to talk about is once you analyze your data copy and paste and make the pdf file and upload it into the size space and the size space will analyze and interpret your data very fantastically and these three tools i'm pretty sure this is going to be your part of your research journey now once you do that for example this table i have to click the copy and then i will open a word document for example word document and you can copy this data set or the result of this meta analysis in here you can paste it here over here okay and then all you have to do you go and save this file as a pdf go and browse this data and then use the same file as a pdf file put it in your one location and then save it okay so this is one of the okay it's already there is a name so what i have to do is just to change the name so that it will be not redundant so place the save button now you can see the the pdf file is already created why we need a pdf file as i told you that we are using the size space platform to analyze or interpret our data you don't have to do anything you just have to put this value or table into the size space and size space will interpret your table okay how fantastic is that right my dear learners 
So now we go to the size space. Okay. So we go to the size space, size space by typeset. I have another video call how to use the free AI platform for our research assistant as our research assistant i want you to have a look that video as well size space and other platforms are also explained in that particular video all the video links are given in the description box you can have a look those so you go to the size space you go to the size space and you can see start searching now click the start searching now okay and then the size space will redirect you to this particular platform and you see upload pdf click the upload pdf and you see there is an option that you can browse so this is my file you can click this one and now upload this file once it uploads the file into the size space just double click this file this will open up in the size space platform all you have to do use this co-pilot version of the size space just simply selecting this table you just have to select this table okay and then what will happen then this table it says explain the text explain the text so you just click the explain the text you can see here that just right next to the size space platform it says fixed and random effect q diff uh, di your degrees of freedom p of binomial test or model coefficients are given here and test of residual heterogeneity are also given here and p values are approximate okay so explaining this value and also it gives you a detailed information about how to explain underneath of this table once you write your liter once you write your research paper as you can see here the highlighted text refers to the results of a statistical analysis using both fixed and random effect and you can see here that it says how to analyze this and what are the inside information that you need to explain or interpret in order to put the table and interpretation in your research paper and this is how you can copy this particular information paste it underneath of your table and you are good to go for analyzing your table so first of all you use the chat gpt for finding out your literature review research problem for meta-analysis liter research then use the jab software for analyze your meta-analysis data and then finally use the size space where you can use every single table or graph and just simply highlight them and explain the co-pilot version of the size space will explain your table on behalf of you all you have to do copy the explained version or interpreted version and push paste it in your word document and that will finalize your analysis and interpretation part of your meta analysis now this is what i am going to share in this particular section of our video and finally i hope this video is useful for you we are discussing about how to use chat gpt to identify your research problem and then collecting your metadata using jab software to analyze your data and finally size space to use for your interpretation of your data all these three useful tools will be very helpful for your research paper or research article writing i believe you like this video if you like this video you can share and if you need my help you can comment in this video description and video comment box i will of course get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much for being with me and supporting my channel i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye